And we're back with another episode of Socratic Gamers with me, Tara, and BJ. Welcome, everyone. So uh, <laughs> this is a special, another, it's another one of those uh, movie reviews. We started the last one with uh, Justice League, although uh, neither Sid or Vish has seen Wonder. Uh, me and Tara just checked it out with my sister, and uh, now we're going to do a quick movie review and see what we thought. Mm-hmm. So, um, just like last time, we're going to give it a score, we're going to review the movie, and then we're going to give it a score at the end because, you know, like, bias might jump in, like, I might sway you in my decision making, and then you're going to re-review it. So Didn't Vish sway you last time? Yeah, he, he pushed me He pushed me higher. <laughs> Low, wasn't it lower? No, oh, no, no, he no, pushed he me lower. No, no, I, he pushed me lower. I went from a three to a two, yeah. and uh, he, whoops, and he um, went from a negative to a two. So we agreed on it too. Mm-hmm. Okay, so this one was Wonder is about a uh, kid with... Um, Birth defects. Thanks. I was trying to be like... Uh, Politically super... correct. Yeah, yeah. yeah I was, was going to say something bad, but I was like, mm, can't, can't say it. Because so, I'd be mad at you. All right, so what's your review? What's your score? Um, was it a four-point scale? Or, sorry, five-point scale? Yeah. Um, I'd say four out of five. Ooh, very nice. Mm-hmm. All right, my score is a four as well. Okay. Okay, so we agreed on the four out of five. What did you like about the movie? Um, it felt very real, and I liked that. Like, it, it didn't feel, like, overdone, and it wasn't, like, overly dramatic. Like, okay. it felt very, like, real life. You know, yeah, like, yeah, sure. kids are mean, and it must be really hard to be a kid and have, like, those birth defects. So I thought it was, it was very, like, real depiction, you know, uh-huh, of life. Sure, yeah, yeah, and sure. I also really liked that they, like, jumped from different characters' point of view. Oh, yeah, it's true. I really like that. I love when authors do that in books. And I, I don't know, it just like adds like another dimension to yeah, the this story. Yeah, this, this is a book too, right? No. Um, probably, yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah it yeah. seemed bookish. Um, but yeah, I just really liked that they added that because it creates like a more full story. Uh-huh. And you can like just see it from different points of view, which I think is really cool. Yeah, it's true. I, I was actually thinking as I was watching this, I was like, man, it was reminding me of elementary and high school. I'm oh, like, I know. Man, kids are so mean. So I, mean. I remember being that mean as well. Oh. And then I was like, it was like, oh man, like having a kid today would be so brutal. Cause I like, know. I felt like the adult because like now we're getting older. Yeah. And we're like not children. Like he's like 10, 4, 5. I don't know. He's like super young. He's and, supposed to be 10. Yeah, he's grade five, right? Yeah. Yeah, so um, I was feeling kind of like, oh, um, I'm not in that age range anymore. So, like, I was empathizing more with the parents. And yeah, I was like, yeah. wow, what would I do? And I liked how, like, they made the dad really jokey. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And, like, he was, he was like, funny, which is, like, the typical standard dad role. But um, I, I liked how he was, like, telling his kid to fight. I was thinking, like, one of the things you should totally do is uh, teach your kid some jujitsu or some martial arts. I wouldn't say martial arts because, like, that one kid punched the other kid, and he got a little awkward because it was like, mm, you guys don't know how to fight. Mm-hmm. And then when he was, like, throwing down the ground game, I was kind of like, you really need to learn how to choke him out, restrain, restrain the situation, you know, hold it down. But, like, all the bullying was, like, a little bit – it was pretty real because at the same time it was, like, I, I remember – being that kind of person not like you were that, a bully well i mean i wasn't a bully but i mean i wasn't a bully and i wasn't really bullied but i can empathize quite quite highly like with you that. saw all that happen uh yeah not to that level of like note passing when uh that scene where he he passes a note um yeah i don't so i feel like, like that does happen yeah i know but i never like first handed it but yeah well what i was thinking about was like uh it's funny how they painted it like although it was about his defect um or his special attribute uh he <laughs> birth defect no no but remember she's like oh you were meant to stand out blah 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 yeah yeah so um if uh like, aside from that, I like how they showed what it's like being the daughter, like, the, the sister of that. Yeah. Because, they, <laughs> cause like, you forget that, like, if if you have a defect, yeah, that does suck. Uh, granted, it sucks way more than being ignored, but we often forget the people that are being affected by all of this. You yeah, know definitely. I mean? So I thought that was kind of cool. Yeah, that was cool. And, uh... What didn't you like? Oh, what didn't I like? Uh, like, why I gave it a four and not a five? Yeah. Uh, I don't like drama. I hate drama. 
So, like, if it was an action movie, it would definitely get a five out of five. Like, I'm naturally... Uh, Just any action movie. Any, well, not any action movie. I mean, like, there's a bunch of good ones out there. Like, the story's got to be okay, and the action's got to be on point. But, like, I just don't like drama. Like, every time... I know it's, like, one of those, like, pretentious things to say. But it's just, like, when you watch that drama, it's like, come on, guys. Let's just be civil here. That, that's interesting. Uh, because, why do got to be like this? Yeah, that's interesting because the reason I gave it a four was because... <laughs> like kind of the opposite like I felt like there wasn't you thought they could have been meaner no 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 <laughs> definitely not but it didn't feel like there was much of like the typical movie storyline where there's like yeah, it was all a about defined him being sad. no but there's no like defined problem you His know face. no 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 but like you know what I mean like that like typical storyline where there's like a defined problem then they like work through the solution and then it gets resolved and everyone's happy and like like, I don't always like that style, like, I, because it's so predictable, but it almost felt like, like, where is this going? Like, how is this going to end, you know? Yeah, but see, see like, that, it kind of dragged, like, you didn't really know true, when yeah, it was going to yeah. wrap up because but, there was no storyline. Right, right, right. Yeah. I, I kind of felt like, um, I, I agree with you on that one, and, but that's also why I don't like dramas because it's like, why am I watching your life at this point? Like, there's a point where it's like an hour and a half in and you're like... I mean, not in the movie, like, me personally. Because, I mean, the movie's good. But mm -hmm. but me personally, I'm just like, why am I watching this kid right now? I guess. I I, like, don't, I enjoy those like, movies because... I, no, but I think it let, let, let me, it presents a really fascinating life view. True, true, That true. we would never experience. I, true. And I think, it's, I think it's really important to put yourself in that position and to, like, have a glimpse into that kind of life. And okay, I think yeah, that's true. why those movies are really important because they can help you empathize. I, I agree, but it's like, it's, that's more of like what they want you to empathize like. You know what I mean? Because like, I would have handled that situation way differently than the way they did in the, in the movie. So it's like, Well, I, how do you I, know that? No, no, but I mean like, I couldn't have put my own, no, because I know myself. I know what I would have said. Like, because it's like being presented with that and I'm like, mm, that's a little weak. Like, why would you say it like that? I mean, I can't, I don't, like, we're all suffering, blah, blah, blah. But like, um, like how she's like, like the she gave up her thesis, you mm -hmm. know. She like she had that passion to become like a an illustrator, and then she gave that up. It's like, dude, what? Why are you gonna give that up? I mean, I get that your kid's face is like like that, but it's like what? What are you talking about? Okay, like no, the the mom. Yeah, I know, but like, first of all, it's probably like super difficult just to be a parent. Yeah, but the you know, dad like, was handling it pretty well. Yeah, but she was the one that was with him. Like, she was homeschooling him full time. Yeah, for sure. I, she it, was, you okay, know, but like... it's like... You, it's like setting you can't, example, No, but you, you... No, no. I think that's, like... I think that's very naive to say. Mm. Because you you don't have a child, so you just you just don't know. Okay. And you don't have a child with a disability, like... For sure. I think I, we, I we can you. never... You don't know. You don't know until you're there. Yeah, but then, right. so then that's like saying, okay, I'm going to take everything at face value and whatever they say to me is how no, it's No, 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 I'm just saying like, I don't know, like you just... No, because I watched that and I was like, okay, the way I would have handled this was I would have like been strong for the kid. Yeah, like, I guess, You know, that but... sucks, but I'm also going to show you that I'm not going to crumble just because of this. No, I don't think she, I, but I don't think she was crumbling necessarily. I think her child was her priority for sure and, no, no. and I, he I needed agree. her he yeah, yeah. needed the time with her he needed the support and the for love sure. yeah, yeah true, true. and of course the father was handling it differently but the way that they split up the division of labor was that he was working full time like he was supporting the family true, true, true. so she was the one who was with him 24 7 so, supporting so, him in a different so way so then why she gets so upset when the daughter said that line about like oh your thesis is not going well mom it was like yeah we know that was a soft spot for the mom it's like you were dealing because with Because she chose her child. Yeah, but then it's like, all right, then live with the decisions you made. You know what I mean? Like, why are you so cheese? Well, that can't be an easy decision. Just because you choose that doesn't mean it's easy. Agreed. But that's why it's like, I would, that's why it's like, I, I watched that and I was like, mm, I probably would have done it differently. I would have, I would have changed it. I don't it know. We can't say that. We can't say that. It's just, yeah, but I think it's important. No, point. just like, you know. That was her decision, and we can understand why we would have done that differently, or how we would have. Blah blah blah. Okay. Anyways, we're getting off topic. So, next thing. Okay. Um, yeah, it was cool that there were so many kids in the theater with us. Like a lot of parents brought their kids there. Yeah, but that was a little annoying too, because like, like you know, those, what was like, that sound? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. There was somebody uh, like talking. I hate that in movies. No, it was like when, a like, video game or something. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. I think like freaking wow. Uh, I I think. Um, uh, 
Oh, that, that sound. I think that thing was like happening because uh, uh, somebody was like being totally inconsiderate <laughs> and they were just watching something on their cell phone. Yeah, so annoying. As, which is like, that's why it sucks going to movies. Yeah, there was like a guy behind us who was getting like yeah, so mad. But this isn't really about the movie. So like, uh, what did you like about the movie? I already told you. That was the first thing you asked me. Oh, uh, so what didn't you like about the movie? I Did just told you. Your answer that. All right, so, uh, okay. Uh, okay, what, okay, how do you think the acting was? Oh, I really liked it. I like I like Owen Wilson. Mm-hmm. Uh, he's a good actor. The, oh, man, that kid was, like, um, freaking cute. Yeah. The, the, the freaking, uh, the, his friend. Uh, but he, what's oh it, man, Jack Jack Will. That yeah, Jack Will. That that one scene where he's like all, um, like I I get why he would have like backstabbed his friend. Yeah. Um, oh, can we talk about the two friends, the this the girls? Because I was like, okay, what's going on here? I was like, did you just make yourself hot over the summer? I really thought. All right, not to get all like weird and stuff, but I thought she was gonna go into that whole thing about being like, and then I got hot, and then what? that's when no no because she like she got like. Uh, hair coloring and she got like all the stuff right Mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying so i like she's like she started to like put on makeup she dyed her hair blah blah blah. and and like um i thought she was gonna be like oh i got hot over the summer and i realized that i'm in a different league than my friend whose friends whose brother is all messed up you know what i mean like like when she came back from the summer and then yeah uh, so i i thought they were gonna go there i didn't know that they were gonna go super sob story where it was like I wish I was the girls with the brother's face. Yeah, that was kind of weird. Yeah, I was like, that's a weak story. Yeah. So like, if that was yeah, that was weird because it's like you're pretending to be her. So like, why would you come back and like totally ignore her? I don't know. Yeah, it was a bit like, wait, what? Yeah, yeah. Like, that's what I'm saying. Like, she looked, she looked evidently more pretty than the sister. So it was like, all right, okay, that's did rude. You- well, no, I mean, the sister was not wearing any makeup. And, so like, what? No, no, I'm, I'm saying... All like, the girls she, listening, you do not have to wear makeup to be beautiful. No, I'm saying the girl, the sister, was uh, the, the the friend, was evidently, like, trying to make herself more pretty. Yeah. You know, so it's like, okay... Well, they're are 15, they gonna go like, to, life's hard. Okay, yeah, I get that. But I'm saying, like, I thought that's where it was going to go, where it was like, oh, like, that one girl is um, more pretty, and that's why she left her friend. You know what I mean? Like, something superficial. No, like, like yeah, yeah. I think what you're trying to say is, like, she decided she was cooler. Yeah. And she was like, I'm going to hang out with the cool kids now because I got cool over the summer. Yeah, exactly. Like, exactly. away at my camp, being my That's own person. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Yeah. Um, but they, they did that kind of with the Jack Will, uh, the friend of the... Oh, what's that boy's name, yo? Wonder. We'll call him Wonder. So, uh... Autumn. No. Autumn, Autumn? yeah. No, August. Augie, August. Augie, Augie. Yeah. Uh... You hear that ringing? That's the video game telling me that uh, the challenge is about to end. Okay. I think. Uh, yeah, so anyway, so August, Augie, his, um, the hell, that ring is so annoying. Whatever, whatever. I, I can, like, barely hear it. Oh, okay, okay. Just ignore it. Whatever. Oh, there it is. Stop. Uh, so Augie, um, he, he walked, he was, like, he was a big fan of Halloween. That was kind of sad, because he's like, oh, it's the one day that I get to feel normal, blah, 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 because they're all wearing masks. And it's like, that's that's pretty sad, dog. I love how you say that word. What? Sad? Dog? Halloween. All right, well, all right, whatever. I love it. Yeah. Um, so anyways. Yeah, you, that was sad. Are you making fun of my special um, you're impediment? You're special. No, you're beautiful and special. Whatever. Anyway, so so yeah, so uh, uh, yeah, August's friend uh, yeah, was, that was all. Sad. Yeah, because he, he like, he walked in. We can't just say it's sad without talking about what happened. So like, no, he just like loves Halloween because nobody looks at his face. Yeah, he no, can no, no, like no. dress right, up for sure, for sure. And then like uh, he walks in and his his best friend uh, or his closest friend, who like he's the only person that um, gave him the time of day, mm-hmm. was like, "Oh, if I was August, I would kill myself." And I was like, "Dang, son, that's so sad. that's horrible. That's like so mean." Yeah, but it, you know what? It's sort oh. of like it, you haven't watched that movie, um, it. But, like, kids say the darndest things. I remember when I was a kid, because, like, you, you don't have the um, the capacity to understand what it is that you're saying. So, like, if you say something like, dude, I would kill myself if I was you. Like, it's like, it's like you don't, you know what I'm saying? It's yeah. like, it's like you're, you're not given the foresight of, like, thinking about um, 
what it is you're saying. It's not until you're an adult you're like, oh, that actually means this. Like you will, yeah. you will. So cease imagine to exist. how hard that must be for like a parent to yeah, watch their it's... child go through. Because for sure, for sure. as a parent, you're like, oh my god, someone's telling my child that he should just die. Yeah, but see, it's like, see, oh. all right, so, so right, right in that point, it's like that's the prime example of how I would treat it differently. Because if I heard like, oh, somebody told my kid that he was supposed to die, I'd be like. Dude, that kid doesn't even know what he's saying. Do you know what death really means? Do you know what it looks like? Do yeah. You, do you know what but a dead body looks like? That's heartbreaking. Uh, but see, this is why I said I would, I would have handled it differently because that didn't really bother me. Like, I would have been like, all right, just say something meaner. You know what I mean? Like, what? no, I would have told August, been like, yo, we're going to take you to jujitsu class. We're going we're gonna to get you all stocked up. Yeah, I know, but regardless. You're going to learn some like, martial that's, arts, dog. That's hard, you know. And then you're going to take a comedy class because if you're funny, nobody will mess with you. You know what he should have done? It's called a harakiri joke. You know what harakiri is? No. It's um, this Japanese method where you kill yourself. It's like uh, if you dishonor your, um, your, like the Japanese are really big into honor. So if you dishonor your family name or yourself, you're, you're forced to kill yourself. It's called harakiri. All right. So there's this thing that I used to do when I was in high school and like elementary school. It was like, it's called a harakiri joke. I learned it from Blink-22. You make fun of yourself so hard before anyone else can so that when they make fun of you, they're like, they got no, they got no thing. Mm. You know what I mean? So like, this one guy's like, uh, when I was like bigger before, like, he's like, yo, yo, what did you eat? Like everything. And I was like, dog, I would take a pizza, fold that pizza like a taco and stuff some chicken in it. That's how I eat. And he was like, Mm, I don't even know what to say at this point. You know what I mean? Because it's like you yeah. you made fun of yourself when I was supposed to make fun of you. Mm-hmm. Or you know it's brutal when they make fun of you and but you're that's, like... I think that's when you're a bit older. No, I was like in elementary school when I said this stuff. Okay, but I guess. That's what I'm saying. I, I, you, you're going to take some jujitsu in a comedy class. Yeah, but also you didn't have a birth defect. Yeah, that's true. But I mean, that's why I would have been like... Like that. I would have been like, son, I get that God is giving you the joker card this round i don't know yeah and uh <laughs> what we're gonna do is we're gonna help you out with some jujitsu and comedy yeah can i ask you a quick question uh yes but let me finish this one joke oh okay all right no c- continue go ahead all right, what no was i was it? just gonna say because you know how the thing keeps popping up to show us how many people are listening uh yeah i can't read it oh okay but are people because it looks like lots of people are writing to us it's, yeah it's a one-way street fellas oh we can't see it you can if you pull out your laptop Oh, okay, yeah. never mind then, yeah. Okay, I, mean, I was just wondering, like, I mean, oh, should we read them? Like, oh, actually, that'd know. be kind of cool. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, I was like, All right, well, I mean, how do we do that? I mean, we could read it, but then the people on the podcast won't. See, this is oh, why yeah, because need... it's later. Yeah, right, this is why yeah. we need a producer. Okay, we have 15 comments, though. Yeah, all right. But anyways, yeah, oh, so wow. um, I guess final thoughts 16. about the movie. Yeah. All right, it's probably like Arvel going. Yeah, I know. I was thinking it's probably Arvel. Yeah, so it's like whatever. Yeah. So what up, Arvel? Text us, Arvel. What up, Arvel? Go watch Wonder. Yeah. And, and learn some jujitsu and comedy because that's what. And it's go at. on Cheap Tuesday. Oh uh, uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Go on Cheap Tuesday. Hustle for that money and uh, save it because I spend it all. All right. Yeah, final thoughts. For the movie. So fi- final thoughts about Wonder because we're gonna wrap this bad boy up because okay. it's not a podcast. It's just a movie review. Okay. So I can't talk about my philo- philosophy. Oh. Go ahead. Continue. So Darn. So <laughs> wrap it up. Final thoughts. Final thoughts. About um, Wonder. Yeah, pretty good movie. Yeah. The last few movies I've seen have been really bad. But So this is worth watching? So you're saying that I'd all the movies... Yeah. A lot watched. of the movies that... Um, Are out now? Suck. That you've wanted to see recently... Yeah, box office hits. ...have not been good. <laughs> Okay, box office hits. Um, yeah, but I guess it's the season. Like, movies are just not good in the summer. And then around Christmas, they get really good. Wait, no. Summer's, like, blockbuster season, bro. No, Christmas is. You know, there's just two times a year when movies are good. Christmas. I didn't and... see... I haven't seen any good movies lately. Uh, okay. Have you? Yeah. Um, Wonder. Okay. Wow. <laughs> okay, yeah. So, you so... guys should go see it. It was pretty good. It's pretty good. No, final thoughts about the, the whole, not the movie itself, oh. like about the moral lesson. You, you know what's cool? I like the word precept. I didn't, I didn't I know, know I that. Didn't, I didn't I was know like, that. I, I thought a precept was something in school. You know, they're like, oh, you can be a precept. Or maybe it was a prefect. 
I was a prefect. Yeah, see, that's what I'm saying. When he said precept, I was like, dog, why are you talking about titles right now? Oh, and then he's I thought like, of precinct. So in case, what? Like, uh, you know. So you're going to go to jail. Yeah. So this, so this dude in grade five is like, No, when he said the word, I was jail. like, what did he say? Precinct? What? Uh, well, yeah. Yeah, I didn't think prefect. But so anyway, so uh, yeah, in case you're wondering what precept is, it's a moral lesson uh, that, so it's basically what I do every single day. <laughs> Your life is a precept. My life is a precept. It's, it's... <laughs> My life a video game. My life a precept. Yeah. Feed yourself good knowledge. Um, <laughs> it's funny. So, uh, yeah, f- final thoughts about that, like that, <laughs> about that um, problem? No, I think it was a good... Good problem? Ooh. No, good social commentary about how hard it is to... I thought it was a a good, I thought, see, the thing about movies, all right, so the thing about movies is they shape culture by showing you what they want you to think like. That's why when I saw that, it was like, why is everybody being mean? Why, you know what would have been a really good, no, no, but you know what would have been a good movie? If they showed Wonder and they were like, everyone's like, yo, man, I see that you got that face problem, but whatever, dog. But that's what less, happened at the end. Less chill. No, no, but he had to work so hard for it. And it was like, Yeah, because damn, kids son. are really mean. No, no, but see, are kids really mean? Or yeah. Is that a, or is that a Western perspective? No, kids upon are mean. Which you... Do you, don't you remember elementary school? Like, kids are mean. Yeah, but that's why you don't and hang kids, out with those kids. And, yeah, no, but it's just, kids are mean. And, like, kids are insecure. Ooh, and that's don't, rude. No, but they are, right? They just, they don't know who they are yet. And... It's hard. That's why so gotta, that's why kids are put, mean. That's why you gotta. You, you know what they used to do back in the day? They used to give them all. Um, oh, what do you call it? Initiation rituals. So like, uh, maybe they should bring back beating, where it's like, all right. Okay, that's ridiculous. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. But you know, what I'm saying it's like, it's like, why are they so mean for you? We got some I, real problems. That's why. But no, 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 no. You know why they're mean? Because like the the uh, adult that's guiding them is bad. So remember that one kid that was no no. Like, remember that one kid whose yeah. father was like being a bully, and then his parents came in, and you're like, man, these people ain't cool either. Mm-hmm. So it's like, it's like bad apples breed bad apples. So maybe it's like fix society in a way that it's like, like that the teacher was cool, but it's like you need to fix the people that are. Like, if you're a mean kid, it's not because you're a mean kid. Yeah, it's because you, you didn't learn a good lesson. Yeah, you control, like, who has kids, right? No, I agree. I'm just saying that it's like, it's like you know, it would have been cool if we saw a movie that was like, a parent came in, they're like, yo, I know you got that face problem, but we're going to band together and we got this, bro. It's just a face thing. Yeah, well, stay tuned, everybody. Maybe we'll make a little uh, what, what? movie ourselves with an alternative ending. <laughs> Stay tuned. <laughs> All right. Okay. Peace out. Wait, no, no, no. I didn't get my final okay. thoughts. Okay. Uh, my... That was a long thought. No, that was just like my my response to your thought. Now I'm gonna give you my thought, and then you can uh, respond back. Okay. So my thought is this: uh, learn jujitsu and uh, get thicker skin by learning comedy. Yeah. You know what, Abigail? All right, so one of our cousins... No, no, okay, okay, okay. So th- this, is, this is why I got Harakiri jokes. So, like, everyone was older than me when we were kids, right? So, like, Abigail would always be like... Um, she'd always make fun of me, like, hard. Just make fun of me hard. And I'd be like, man, you're so mean. And she'd be like, grow thicker skin. And I was like, dang. And then when you go to, uh, when you go to like, elementary and high school, and then, like, they say things to you, are like, dog, you don't even know. My cousin's way meaner than you guys. You know what I mean? I guess. So yeah, but still. Okay, so has your so has your score swayed? We're gonna finish it off with a score rescoring. No. So it's still four. Yeah. I'm yeah. gonna give it a seven out of five. No, it wasn't that good. No, it wasn't that good. Ripping on it. All right, four out of five still. So our reviews haven't changed. Go check it out. It. Mm, Hold on, hold on. The real question is this. Would you watch it on Not A Cheap Tuesday or on Netflix? I don't think it's Netflix worthy. I think you should, if you're, if you got nothing to do, go check it out. But I don't think it's like weekend worthy. I think it's like Netflix worthy. I mean, oh, no, sorry, Cheap, cheap Tuesday America. worthy. Yeah, I don't really see movies unless it's on Cheap Tuesday because I'm not really a movie person. Okay. So. So coming from a person that likes movies, me, uh, go watch it on a Tuesday or wait for Netflix. But definitely watch it on a Tuesday. And that's all. Peace out. All right, till next this time. This has been Socratic Gamers. Right, Can we end them all like that? Yeah, the ones you're on. All okay. Right. All right. Bye.